right before our eyes. An epic battle is unfolding between the techno giants of this world, coming up with AI chatbots. So let's compare the Microsoft Bing's chatbot and Google Bard. We're Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. You're on our channel, weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos and use the super thanks feature to support our channel. We'll appreciate it and deliver more great content. Let's start with a little backstory. Here, of course, it's not without ChatGPT. After its official release, the brainchild of OpenAI became the fastest growing web platform in history. Not surprisingly, it spurred giants like Google and Microsoft to action. This is where the company's strategies differed. Microsoft Bing, which previously had less than 3% of the market for internet search, decided to license the technology OpenAI. In other words, the company simply implemented ChatGPT in its search engine. And this has paid off, because since then, the traffic increased by 16%. Conversely, Google went its own way and accelerated the development of its own assistant with AI, Google Bard. Today, the service is in its beta stage, but the preliminary results are already impressive. The main advantage distinguishing Bard and Bing from ChatGPT is access to real-time information. Using data from Google and Bing, respectively, the services are not limited to their knowledge to any date. With beta features of plug-in support and browsing with Bing, things have started to change, obviously. Now, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click on subscribe to never miss our new updates. So let's get to the point. What are the differences between these services? Let's start with the basic tests in simple math. Suppose you're sitting in your office and have forgotten how to multiply. It's a common situation, isn't it? Let's ask Bing AI to solve a simple problem. Negative one times negative one times negative one. The answer is negative one. The test is passed. Bing AI won't get you fired. You can rejoice. But what about Google Bard? We asked him the same question and we got one. Well, surprisingly, the service from Google failed in basic math. Okay, let's complicate the problem and propose to solve a more advanced equation. Eight over a minus one is equal to 20 over three a minus one. And Google Bard counted one here too. Well, it doesn't betray the tradition. So what about Bing AI? The answer is negative six. Well, we're beginning to be disappointed in the AI's abilities. Okay, so let's assume that math just isn't their style, and it's better to do the math yourself. Let's move on to more creative questions. For example, ask the Bing AI to write a poem. When it comes to crafting poetry, Bing AI shows promise with its unique feature of adjustable creativity levels. For example, take a look at this one. I learned that there is more to life than online fame, that there are real people who care about my name. True epic. On the other hand, Google Bard's poetry was perceived as rather lackluster, with repeated words and a disregard for rhyme and meter. This is really even nothing to show, unfortunately. Okay, so what about some more difficult topics? Can AIs understand and explain them easily? In the challenge of explaining complex topics to a younger audience, neither Bard nor Bing AI particularly excelled. However, Google Bard's approach was more detailed, although it used complex language that may not be suitable for a fourth grade audience. Bing AI's performance in this area wasn't clearly specified, but it doesn't seem to have stood out. At this point, we already missed the chat GPT. All right, let's take the last test. We know that ChatGPT can be easily tricked and used to, for example, create malicious software. What about today's competitors? Both Bing AI and Google Bard displayed impressive resistance to manipulation for unethical activities, such as coding malware. Despite repeated attempts, Bing AI flatly refused to engage in such behavior. Bard also remained firm, declining to respond to such prompts. Bing AI shows good skills and creativity, 
and its GPT-4 technology helps it write passable texts and poems. Google Bard is definitely inferior to its competitors. However, remember that it's still in its beta test, and you and we cannot evaluate its abilities fully. But if you want to dive deeper into the world of AI, we recommend watching our video about Google Bard. There's a lot more to be surprised about. Also, support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.